Hi and welcome to another episode of Fun with Friends, Food and Film, the show that highlights Lancaster County everyday chefs sharing their signature dish. I'm very excited for this episode. My BFF, Mindy Lynn, you know her on JTL as Mindy Lynn. Yes. You know her at Ken's Gardens as Mindy Lab. Mindy Lab, yep. <laughs> I have many names, many names, Lisa. Ken's Gardens and Intercourse? Yes, Ken's Gardens and Intercourse. Uh, family run, owned and operated, and the cousins run um, Ken's and Smoketown as well. So All right. right. Visit us anywhere. We always like to incorporate local fresh ingredients, and Mindy is always very good at doing that, especially with owning greenhouses. I do my best, <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> but what do you have for us today? Well, today I have my signature dish for any friends or family who are expecting a baby or have a baby, and you know, it's hard to cook and carry. Do you mean I have to have a baby to have this dish? <laughs> no, you could have a hospital stay, but we don't need any of those. No, either. so no. I have a roast, which is multi-use. You can use it a couple days. I have a stall foose meats, fresh, boneless, fresh and local chuck roast, boneless chuck roast. That's Good for key. you. That's the cut you have to okay, use. Okay, say that again. Boneless chuck roast. Okay, all right. Very simple. And yeah, we'll share the finished product then. Too. All right. And what movie did you pick? I picked some kind of wonderful because it's John Hughes and he was a staple growing up, junior high, high school, and it has a chick drummer in it. So, you know, I drum, the girl in it drums, she has short hair, I have short hair. Uh, it's actually made me want to become a drummer, so I just is dear to my heart. I love it. Maybe will you teach me some drumming later? Yes, I may have brought some extra sticks along. Oh, so, yes. I'm so excited. Sounds All right, good. first, let's deconstruct this dish. My boneless chuck roast. This is the finished product. It is delicious and savory, and it's amazing because the first day when you're way home from work or picking up the kids from soccer or field hockey, you can stop at a local roadside stand and get some little red potatoes to cook with it or peas. Peas is our favorite. And then the next day, you can shred it and just put it on white bread with some gravy, some beef gravy. That's why I have this here. So here's what you do. You start with a boneless chuck roast. Mine is from Stallsfoos Meats, which I can walk to from my house. And it's a boneless chuck roast. Size it suits your family, three pounds, five pounds, six pounds, whatever. And you start with one pack of dry onion soup mix, whichever brand you like, and two cans of beef broth. This is simple, watch. This is my favorite part. You take your handy dandy crock pot, which mine is red because I have red accents in my kitchen. Place your boneless chuck roast into the crock pot, pour two cans of beef gravy over top, Sprinkle the dry onion soup mix, and if you have time, the I found the best result is on low for like 9-10 hours, or if you're in a hurry, you can put it on high for like 5. But just take the lid off and check it with the fork. If it shreds with like no pressure at all, it is done. It is delicious, and yeah, it's my favorite. Oh my god, there it. is so much flavor. Oh, and my favorite. And it's so simple. My favorite scene's on. Mmm. So what's happening? Well. He, she thought the guy that she liked was gonna pick the popular girl, and he's picking her instead. <gasps> the chick drummer! Yup, look at her. He gives her these earrings that she always wanted. Looks like a beautiful ending. Wow, happy ending. Hey, let's like draw me. Yeah, teach me, teach me, teach okay. me. Oh, okay. Do you take these? All right, thank and you. You're gonna wanna hit the white part. Okay. So, I think you're shaking right. its hand. Shaking its hand, got okay. it. And then got it. turn. And then just try this. chick drummer. Oh, but you're a really good chef. But I'm a good eater. Let's go. Thank you. Awesome. One more bite. Oh, that's the bite I wanted. Mm. 